Good. Thank you. So that's so much we've seen for probably all the pitfalls and the traps that could come with um, thinking big. Um, I'm going to ask what we've seen at, at um, the pros, okay? So it's not all gloom and doom, but um, after we look at the dangers, it's good for us to stay positive and motivate ourselves. Um, to be big, you have to stay relevant. But if you are irrelevant, forget about it. You just can't make it up there. But then there comes another challenge. Like Christine mentioned, the world is rapidly changing. And so for us to be able to achieve the big thoughts we have, we have to pay attention to a couple of um, points or a couple of things. Now, we would have to focus on our career on how technology is going to have us achieving our big dreams and how we can also influence people. So if if we already are in a career or if we are already currently studying at the university, we pretty much know which career we belong to or the careers we belong to. Currently, because of how knowledge is so much available, people have multiple careers. There are pilots who are pianists. And so I wouldn't want to um, narrow in alone on one career. But suppose you are studying an engineer or a minor or an artist. For you to reach the your aim of being big in this field, you would have to constantly study. Now, the problem many people have is that once they are done, once they have their degrees or they have their uh, MBA in whichever field they they um, choose to follow. I think that's it. The thing now, I'm ready and I can achieve with this knowledge I have. But the truth of the matter is that the moment you leave school, the knowledge you've acquired starts to decay. Sometimes when we look at the, um, the, the curriculum that we follow in school, it is quite fixed. It's stagnant, it seldom changes. But that is an entirely different when it comes to the real world, when it comes to working. There are departments, there are R&D departments, research and development departments that are rapidly turning out new ideas, how to um, go about stuff in a more efficient, more safe way. If we have the mindset that we have the knowledge in all, then we're not thinking big. It is necessary for us to keep ourselves updated in all these fields. There are companies that are competing with each other and they would, they would want to go ahead and they would have to change um, their approach to things. And we find ourselves in this profession that is rapidly changing. We just can't catch up unless we are ready to constantly learn and see what is going to happen in the future. Now, that aside, or with that in our mind, it's necessary for us to pay attention to our associations. Like Christine mentioned, whatever we do, be it with technology or our friends, it has to be deliberate. Now, everyone is on one kind of social media platform or the other. Some are on multiple. Now, social media, yes, much of it is for but it is also a good tool for us to network, for us to take in new knowledge. So whatever it is that we do on social media, it should be deliberate. What kind of pages do we view? What kind of groups do we join? What kind of associates do we have? And I'm not saying that we shouldn't have any normal life where everything we're doing online is, is just toward our profession. But think of it, it's, it's good leverage. Because you get meet people across the world in different fields, but might be tied to our profession, and they could be feeding us with new information that comes relevant to our profession. The truth of the matter is that professions change very much, but the title seldom changes. So let me use an example. Um, in photography, a couple of decades back, 
high tech photography was using film. I guess some of the older mentors of this platform will know. Using film to take pictures was the ish, was, was top notch. Especially when cameras became very portable and every household wants to buy a camera and, and shoot their families. But look at how photography has changed now. Phones used to be set for calls. Now phones are, are, are smart cameras that people are using every day. There was a company, um, that actually still is a company, Kodak. And they used to be the main setters in, in, in photography in the, back in the day. They invested so much in um, film, so much that they went bankrupt and the event of um, a memory card came into play. They banked so much on that, knowing that they are still going to stay relevant. But they forgot, or they they, they were blind to the fact that technology changes so much that we have to to be adaptable to how things changes. And now Kodak isn't so much known in, in photography that much. Because they failed to pay attention to the rapidly changing world and they banned their hopes on what was already in existence. Still in our career field, what we have to um, focus so much on or pay extreme attention to it, it is critical to us achieving our big dreams in this rapidly changing world. And it is to find a good mentor. I believe the empowerment series has been as its for um as its prime aim to link mentors to mentees. It's a sure way of achieving our our dream because we just can't know it on our own. People have already filled ahead and they will point us to the step we have to take so that we wouldn't fill on our own. So like um um, Christine rightly said, you might see your manager head of department and you wish to be like him. It is possible if you take the right steps. And he is right, it is impossible if you just take it into your head and don't take steps toward it. The ones who are our mentors are the ones who have tried the water. They are the ones who go into the big meetings and they are the ones who know what direction the company is going to take in a year, in two years, in five to ten years. If we attach these these gurus, they will be able to point us and not just in the directions we have to go. If there's a new approach that companies will take and they shine light on it for you. As you progress in your career, you know you are directing yourself or leading towards this new aim, this new goal. And this will help you to to align yourself to achieve the big dreams we have. Remember, you might have an aim now, but the world is changing. You might miss by a thousand miles if you have that same aim. Rather, if you get to update yourself in the knowledge as to what would be happening in the future, you will be able to steer yourself toward that big hit. And again, with this change in mind, it is good for us to focus very much on technology. Technology is changing everything. Virtually, every profession is touched by technology. In the past, 10, 20 years ago, how surveyors used to work is not the same way they work now. But now we've got drones, we've got stuff that are quantifying things in a mind-blowing way. There is a lot of that happening, I am analytics happening behind the scenes. Because of big data and analytics, there are digital profits, if we could put that term down. People can take people's decisions in purchase, in, in um, choices they would make. It is necessary if we would achieve our big um, dreams. It would be necessary for us to take advantage of this. And the truth of the matter is that it is very much available. Sometimes it's even about something. Again, I'll refer to Christine. Information and tools are so much available that if we are not careful, we will be running after everything. It is necessary for us to hone in on one or two or just a few of the ones that are very, very important to us. And then utilize these two these tools. These this approach will help us to to um to maximize the opportunities that technology presents.
And again, look for my speed and of information of uh, this point that are very much available on the internet. With the smartphones we have, the laptops we have, we, we have unprecedented access to knowledge and information. In all of human history, we can actually go, go to the university on our phones now. Think of about 10 years ago, what is happening now sounds like sorcery. For us to all connect together and speak. And it's especially cheap for us to get data. Now we have that opportunity. We have the bridge for us to connect to our mentors. We have the bridge for us to take in knowledge as and when we want. We didn't have to even walk into a real library. We would have to take advantage of big things happening now so that we can constantly adjust ourselves toward achieving our big um, dreams or our big goals. 